Well, look, now we're going to be joined by the last person to, on political grounds, get banned from coming to New Zealand. Supposedly because he was a Nazi too, even though he wasn't, and there is still legal action going on. He's pursuing legal action against the government. I mean, the Prime Minister just, just straight out lied to my face about the reason he was kept out from coming over to cover for Rebel News, a sort of um, rally at Parliament. His name's Avi Yemeni, and he joins us on the line from Melbourne now. Avi, good to talk to you, mate. How are you? Good morning, mate. All right. Look, this story's kicked off over here, mate, big time. Big time. But it was really good to see last night, and you and I had a few texts, and you cover these issues in Australia. And and uh, I thought if anyone could give me some inside goss on who those people were that turned up uh, on the streets, uh, on the steps of Parliament in Melbourne, and what connection they might have, it would be you. And then I see that you've also done an interview You've actually talked direct to Posey Parker. So first off, mate, who were these guys with the shaved legs and the shorts and the black shorts? <laughs> I, I like the description. Um, they're, look, they're well known. They're a group, a tiny group that is really trying to get some attention, which they managed to to get the other day thanks to the way the media handled it and, and every, almost every politician from both persuasions of politics across the board there's there's a couple of you know it's led by a guy called thomas saw who recently was in jail for um punching a, a channel nine security guard a, a, an african channel nine security guard so they're not new these are not people that are new to the scene this they've obviously recruited a few people but they've they've been active mainly on telegram um, in fact, you can only access their Telegram accounts on, on Androids. You can't even do it on Apple. So they're really underground. Fringy. They're real fringy. Yeah, they're real fringe, but they're known. I, yeah. you, know, I, you see them, if you know, you know. You know yeah. they are, and they just want attention. And that's exactly what they were given, not by the women. The women tried to ignore them. The women actually thought... And, and we've got, you know, what you saw yesterday was just a, a short bit of the interview because uh, it was in response to John Pesuto, the head of the... the, the yeah, no, I want to get party. into this too. Okay, so, yeah. so this is a fringe group. They were not, and there is no link between them and Posey Parker, Kelly J's group. They didn't invite them. They were not an official part of her public event. No, and if you look at their their own news site, they have like their own news site. That they, they don't really like Posey Parker. They call her a radical, femi- an atheist radical feminist. So they're not her fans. They may agree on one tiny thing. Yeah. All right. So this is no way. Okay, but the problem was then, as I understand, you had a parliamentarian, a Victorian parliamentarian, who supported Posey Parker, and now they're trying to expel this woman from the parliament. Yeah, and they're... Uh, so at first it was that she just um, attended, then it was that she's... Um, she, you know, that, 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 that she didn't leave when the Nazis got there, and finally the, the most bizarre excuse for it all is the conservatives remember this is the conservative opposition who, who's in in one in one breath saying how how much he supports obviously free speech but this goes beyond it because he she's associated with the organizer posey parker who um has previously interviewed neo-nazis and whites or been on interviews with neo-nazis and white supremacists and the, the genius went to name him, and it turns out the only place that those names come up associated to her is actually on Wikipedia. And the best part of that entire investigation, he says they investigated, and it came out of their investigations. Well, um, they googled her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they googled her. They they found it on Wikipedia, and. They they obviously didn't click the footnotes because there's footnotes there when it's meant, and when you click the footnotes, you can see it's it's complete rubbish. Um, it didn't happen, and she's come out and and obviously um, said to herself, and and you know the crazy thing, Sean, from all of that is that 
I was the one to speak to to Kelly J when when that allegation was put yeah. forth. The entire media, no, not one person from the media. I think today that that's going to change, I believe. But that's because now um, it's it's out there and everybody's talking about it. It's trending on Twitter. But when John Pesuto, the head of the, the, the leader of the Liberal Party, came out and, and claimed that she was associated to Nazis, not one person in the mainstream media thought it would be a good idea to just pick up the phone and have a uh, chat. Yeah, to her. good on you, Harvey. Uh, as I said, I tweeted last night. I said your coverage of this has been. And, you know, has put mainstream media to shame. And I tell you what, mainstream media here in New Zealand, the legacy media have been absolute crap on it as well. So what is likely to happen to this woman who's been threatened with losing her part or being expelled from her caucus? Do you think your coverage has turned that story round now? I think it's interesting now because uh, it went from she's completely gone to, hold on a second, it looks like the narrative might be shifting. The only people who seem to be supporting the, the leadership in the Liberal Party now, at least um, publicly, is it, it, it are leftists that are also mocking them. On the other hand, so they're not real supporters. Yeah. Um, the, a lot of liberal, a lot of liberal personalities are, are actually publicly supporting her. Not not necessarily in Victoria. In Victoria, it's all hush hush. So it'll be interesting to see next week what happens at the vote and in the meantime the narrative is really shifting and i do know she's going to be doing um s uh, some media today yeah. uh, that that have caught on to it that that are um finally uh, picked up on the fact that uh, wikipedia mm. pseudo is mm. that, that, that it was all based on on on, yeah. cra on bad uh, bad yeah. advice well, Avi, you are the last person to be banned, to my knowledge, to have been banned from entering New Zealand because you're a Nazi scumbag. Um, <laughs> and I'm joking. I've, I've got to, I'm, short, short, I've got to, I've got to be careful at even laughing at that because there was the last time I, I mockingly said it. It keeps coming back to haunt me. Like these leftists, I've seen all the threads. Oh God! They're, they're, they're like. Oh, he once called himself the world's proudest Nazi. Oh, Jew. God. Oh, but, oh. Avi, look, the Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister, lied to my face about what happened with your case. Are you still yes. pursuing that legally? Absolutely. We, uh, so, um, the, we, the ball right now is in their court. We've handed the final thing last week that they were requesting. They were they demanded uh, our um, thing, uh, 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 the federal police fingerprint check even though they already had everything it's just the process but that was yeah. their right that's their last avenue of of stalling so um it'll be interesting to see what happens with with uh, with kelly j and and uh, and um and from there after that i i imagine my one it's either going to go through in the next few weeks or it's going to court in just as long yeah um, uh, Avi, it is a, a huge worry, though, and I might have thought w that with the departure of Jacinda Ardern, this country has changed, and I feel like New Zealand has got a huge test coming up on this. If we ban Kelly J, we're kind of lost, you know. We've got a lot of ground Absolutely, to make yeah. up, you know. Uh, Absolutely. I, I, I'd, be shocked. I'd be surprised, like, just sitting from here, even though it's happened to me, now that Jacinda's gone, now that it feels like the... That, that it's recognised that your political mood is not... that It's not there. People don't want that anymore. I, I'd just be so shocked if they, they did ban her, especially because they don't have... <laughs> they don't have some um, old, weird conviction that they can throw out and use uh, in the meantime just to pass time. So, it, uh, yeah. Well, me, the other that, thing I, now I, is, of it. course... Is they're saying all, all the trans rights activists, the pill clutches, and, and the cry bullies in New Zealand are telling me on Twitter, oh, she did an interview with that Nazi Yavi Yemeni. Of course, she shouldn't be allowed to come here. <laughs> so you cannot win, <laughs> eh? That, that's it. And, and, and you know what, Sean? That happens all the time, and that's a problem with guilt by association. It, it literally, I, I went to a project once working. Um, interviewing as I do, and I remember I, ha I hired a cameraman from um, I don't know. He, he he must have been part of some right wing group. And these lefties, they the, the you know the Antifa type, they went 
They went up to him and they're like, how can you hang out with him? He calls himself a Jewish Nazi. This, this, this. And then at the same time, they go, the, the other ones came up to me. How can you ha hang out with this guy? So pointing at my camera, man. He's part of this right-wing extremist group. And I'm like, hold on, guys. So you, you don't want him to hang out with me because that's, the association is dangerous. But then you're also saying to him, he, he can't hang out. So we can't hang out with each other. They don't care. The idea that they, they, they're trying to they throw mud and hope that one of it sticks. So either one sticks and causes trouble. Um, and you just can't give it to them. That's the danger is if the government actually does cower, which is that, that's what I imagine is, is, is the risk here, is that the, the new, the new uh, government you have there is just going to get scared and do some stupid decision. Um, a bit like in my case where they, they yeah. rushed some silly unlaw like, uh, that worked out yeah. to be unlawful. Uh, but I do, I, I can't help but think and hope that they're going to tread more carefully because they realise, you know, after everything, at the end of the day, the truth is going to come out and the internal emails are all going to be released as they've been released. And at the end of the day, she'll be able to challenge it. And kicking someone out of a country on, on you know, after defaming them because of... Of, of, of a that, Google search. Um, of a <laughs> Google search. I, I think I think that it gives somebody a, an incentive to go and clear their name, which the only way to do that is is through the courts. So I think that they're opening themselves up to a danger. And, and having said that, I, I think that she would get a lot of support. I think I think a lot of people, that, that will cross the line for a lot of people. Like, you don't... You know, you don't necessarily have to like uh, myself or her, whatever, but people start to get worried when they see this trend of a government in a so-called free Western democratic society banning people nearly willy Because they don't like what they say. They, yeah, and They don't that, like their yeah, politics. Yeah, it's a free speech issue, Avi, absolutely. I think you're a complete tosser, but... You know, you're on the right side of free speech, mate. Uh, I agree with you, Sean. That's probably one thing I agree with you, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. Hey, look, thank you so yeah. much for your excellent work. And thank as I you, said, Sean. I watched it yesterday and I thought, well, there's a bloody journalist. Um, and good on you, Harvey, and thanks for coming on this well, morning I, as always, I, I mate. actually, I, I think, to look out today, because I think, I think, like I said to you, that, that was just a snippet of it because I thought that that was important to get out immediately because of the... The, the fake news coming out from John Pseudo, but uh, we did it. It was a longer form. It was probably about 10 minutes, and she is so good, and I put all the questions to her that the mainstream media should have put to her about those Nazis. Everything you're putting to me now, I, I literally put it to her, you know, including why didn't you leave? And I'm telling you, I, I've, I've interviewed a lot of people. She is so good and authentic and true and so not a threat. She's actually what's needed in our society. Good on you, Avi. That's available on what, rebelnews.com? Yeah, in a few hours. So you guys are going to have to calm down and wait in New Zealand. Yeah, because, well, that's uh, after people have you. gone on to the platform app and listened to my interview of with course. you. Of course. <laughs> of course, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Have Take it back. easy, Avi. We'll talk soon, buddy. That is Avi uh, Yemeni from uh, Rebel News in Melbourne, yeah. Um, and, you know, I don't know, free speech maybe makes strange bedfellows, but there you go, he's done a better job than TVNZ has on this story, a way better job.